sorry about that YouTube. Lost my internet connection. And the utilities today have been horrible. Electric prices went up here in West Virginia recently. Driven by or supported by the West Virginia Public Services Commission, which is a government commission. And uh, yeah, they still can't keep the power on. You know, they're paying more for the crap and they can't keep the shit on. It, it's just ridiculous. Anyways, end of the game. Yeah, let's go steal some stuff. Actually, I think we're gonna do some I don't know. Found a good random player too. He could hear me and he was stocking up the shit. And lose my internet connection. It's terrible. Terrible. I just need to relearn the word abolish. Anywho, let's try our luck with another random crew. I was muted. I said hi, but then you didn't respond, and I was like, oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't hear anything of it. Snake Island? Alright, so I got a, a, a random chest here. Let me get my Snake. weapon sorted out. Finally got my black dog pack last night. Turn my push the top off. I forget to push the button a lot. I'm on the computer. Yeah. Or I'll push the wrong button because I play other games. I use TeamSpeak and I'm not using TeamSpeak on this. Oh, we're not leaving. I'm just moving it over here. Yeah, I was just throwing some stuff in the barrels. Alright. 
pretty sure they're all on this other island over here. Yeah, they are. Uh, to the right of the ship. <laughs> yeah, I should have gone in there with using my pistol first. Did you die? Yeah. <laughs> it's my first game of the day. I'll, 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 uh, <laughs> I'll talk that up to being a new, I guess. I died too. It's okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's two left, though. my pistol on them. It's, when you go in there hacking at them, they can usually, uh, you can usually stop them from shooting, but they were kind of far away from each other, so. Yeah. That isn't fair. A ghost hiding in the bushes. Come on now. All I see is green eyes in the bushes. <laughs> oh, yeah, when you catch three blunderbusses to the face, you die pretty quick. <laughs> Oh, 
sniper rifle is probably the best to use against those guys. Well, maybe a sniper rifle, but no sniper rifle or uh, a pistol. Some kind of gun. Yep. Oh, you spotted more skeletons with them. That's not right. <laughs> I ran away and fell off the cliff. Out of here. I have to get back up uh -oh. there. <laughs> nope, nope, you're dead. You're dead. Ha! I got this. Oh, Perk, he has a shotgun too. Yeah, they all have shotguns. Twenty three, twenty two, and twenty one. So we could either go to the outpost right in front of us or to Wanderer's Refuge and then to the outpost. Yeah, let's go to Wanderer's Refuge. There's not a lot on board. Just two skulls in a chest. Yeah, I could put down another There's voyage too. Over there. I'll put down another ghost hunter's voyage. Uh, or you can cancel that. I've got a uh, a skeleton one too. If you want to do that.
guess I should have had to from the valley first. It's closer, right? Okay. I can barely hear you. <laughs> Blunder Valley is closer. Yeah, it's right in front of us. Yeah. I just noticed you have a different color flag. How'd you get that? Um, you mean the boat? The flag up at the top, it's blue. Got it. Did it's it white for me. It's white for you? Yeah. Huh. It's weird. Color, but yeah, the boat's a different the color. The flag is white. The sails are white. No, the sail is white. Are you talking about the... The flag all the way up at the tip top. The thing in the back? No, the flag up at the tip top. But... Oh, uh, it's still white for me. Oh, crap. <sighs> Pay attention where I'm going. Alright, drop the carry. I'm gonna put this gunpowder okay, barrel. Get the out of here. Put this gunpowder barrel the up at the top. No, never leave it on the boat. Never, never, never leave it on deck or in the hull. It explodes and your ship goes under. Find the stone guardian canyon pass and stone the turn. Bunch of graves over here, I wonder if this is it. in the canyon pass. Here he is. It's right here. Seek the eagle hunter high to the east. Up, up we go. Well, maybe it's this way. I have a feeling it's up there on that ledge above us. I think so bad. up there in that 
pledge. Make life easy, we can shoot ourselves up there. Back to the boat. Yeah, I've sucked. Yeah. found it. Eagle Hunter. It's a painting on the wall. It's right here. Uh, I'm looking at the... I mean, I've been holding a light to this wall for a while. I'm looking at the boat. I can see the boat where I am. I got it. Find the trumpeters in the shadow of the West Peak. Uh, oh, you're see. down there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was up there. That, that same painting was on the wall up there. <laughs> yeah, they don't put these things in the right places. It seems that it's like that on a lot of islands. Yeah. Trumpeters in the shadow of the West Peak. Those are the guys that we saw down there in that can in that uh, canyon.
I think. Right by it. I must have ran by it. I've got I've lost my direction.
you ready to go? Yep, I'm heading back now. Is that you? Or is that the skeletons? Skeleton. It's not the skeletons, I swear. Kill this faggot. It's dead. There's a friend, too. So if you want. Actually, YouTube, I'm going to sail alone. I don't want to sail with that kid. He's, I don't know, he's doing his own thing. So, yeah, it's solo sloop time.
I don't play around. Whenever I stock up my boat, I stock up my boat. That way whenever I get into engagements with kids like that, I'm ready. And they're not. They go under. I keep patching my holes. I keep shooting things. They don't. <laughs> they cry as they eat lead and taste still. me. 
Boat's mostly stuck. I'm gonna go over here and grab a couple of more cannons before I head out. Picking this island clean before we go. Uh, almost clean, anyways.
Master Skull in the West Outcrop. <clears throat> Monstrous Skull in the West Outcrop. Skellies. Look at that.
trying to figure this riddle out here, YouTube. Salt Google and the helpful Sea of Thieves forums. This thing's definitely come in handy every once in a while. You avoid some of the toxicity going on as a break, but I'm going to take a break for just a moment, guys.
think Google is going to be of any help. to find a monstrous skull. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Found a chicken coop that I could care less about. Five paces north by northwest.
a drink after that hunt.
connected. Channel well, as being able, to, being able to maintain my mediocre standard of living. Please let me know what you can do to ease this terrible burden. I am happy to continue working for this company, but need to be able to afford to work for this company. Thanks. Kind regards. Yeah. I think that has beautifully written. Oh shit! I just got a text. Come on. No. Mm -hmm. Hey, would you? Uh, it says, "Wow, what a email." <laughs> That's the terminal manager. She said, "He's like, wow, what a great email. Wow, fucker." You're good with the English. I'm getting better. I think Rihar would be proud of you. I don't hear anything, would you? I just see your mic killing up. Oops. I was there we go. I forgot I was on. I forgot that I wasn't on Teamspeak because I lost power earlier again. No. Oh my god, that was fun last night, but I hated the Xbox thing. Like, holy shit, next time we need to do that, you can get them on yeah. TeamSpeak if you want, or we can do Discord, you know? Oh, it's, that's the only way I've been able to find enough people, is by using the Xbox app. You can use the, uh, looking for groups. Oh, so it's just yeah. randoms. Well, no, if you do the, if you just go through the game and do randoms, then you're not, like, very rarely will you be able to find a good group of people. Oh, I know that's that, but I mean, problem. on the X. It's, that was technically random. Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah, yeah, technically, but not as random as the game randoms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least it was Maybe a group of you. people that were uh, adults and shit like that. You know? Yeah. But that's why I may be running a car and being home, coming home tonight. Why you ditch the truck? Yep. Why? Why if you quit? If they don't give me what I want, yeah, I'm gonna quit. I mean, would you work for three weeks straight without a paycheck? Fuck no. No, no I can't really blame you. So, um... I, I ain't nobody, I ain't, pardon my French here, but I ain't nobody's nigger. I don't um, work for free. What can we call it? How many hours is it from Lubbock to your home? Ten. Well, Ten. I could probably do it in about... Stop it. Well, in a car, you don't have to do your stupid hour shit. You take that one. Yeah. yeah. I, and I could speed. Yeah. But Lubbock to Houston is what about? I'm gonna say about 600 miles. Yeah. I don't know how. Let's find out. Lubbock, Tejas to Deer Park, Texas. So you already checked out, right? Your 550 hotel. miles. Oh, no, no, no. I'm still in the hotel. The uh, oh, management yeah. lady, she's she's real cool. She She's letting me stay here without charge, being charged until 6 p.m. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Eight and a half hours via Highway 6. Uh, but I'm going to go down through Dallas because it's faster for me that way. We're going to do it the, the, the stupidest way possible because, you know, it's easier for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go down through Dallas. You're talking about yeah, about 600 miles. I can do that about nine hours. I'll probably do it in eight if I really needed to. Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. Ciao. User hey. from your channel. Did you get any sales or anything yet? Yeah, I've got the Sovereign sales. Which color are those? They're black. Nice. With the Saint symbol. It's the only thing that gets me about them. Yeah, I wish they were all black, huh? Oh, that, uh, the ones with the skulls look blue. I wanted something black. <laughs> no. Can you hear me in game, or is it...? No, I don't hear you in the game. Can okay, you hear good. me? I yeah, it. I can hear you. You got. Yeah, I forgot. Going on. Let me fix it real quick. All right. Can you hear me still? How about now? Is that better? Yeah. So you have to be level ten in order to talk to that dude on the thing tavern, right? For no. Ten on everything. Yeah, level fifty and all three. Fifty. Yeah, what that dude gives you is the access to the legendary captain hideout. Oh, wow, okay. 50 on everything, or just yeah, one? Yeah, 50 in all Holy three. Holy shit. But, from what I 
the, what I'm understanding so far in the game, if you get on a galleon and start doing those skull forts, a lot of stuff starts yeah. pouring in real fast. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I have 20k right now. I think I should just save up for one of these things. Yeah, that's what I do. I started spending it the other day because I was getting frustrated. I didn't have my black dog stuff yet. Yeah. And I wish I didn't now because I'd be over 30,000. Instead, I'm at 25.9. Do you find any supplies in here? Oh yeah, there's plenty. I'm gonna consolidate the cannonball real quick, then I'm coming back. Uh -oh. Oh, this is Gallion's grave. I think all the uh, supplies are on the other side. There's some wooden planks over here if you have not full. We'll do your quest since you're probably better. I've only got the one spot, I gotta go buy some. Better. Better, better means harder. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, I get more, uh, more islands, what have more we chests here? usually. Not necessarily better ones though. I've noticed. So how do you put the stuff on the sails? Oh, or, I mean, how do you put? This? Oh, you already did. It. Yeah, I already did it. There's a, a chest beside the thing. The woman that does the uh, the ship oh. right. Be brief, yes. then be gone. Be on your way. What level are your merchants? Um, six or eight, I think. Is that the lowest? Yes, eight. I'll pick up some merchant for the second. Okay. What's up, Captain? I found two or three chests of a thousand grogs in the past 24 hours. I'm hoping to find some more today. No. Back to the sea, yeah? They've been on the, uh, on shipwrecks every time. Let's do the merchant one first and get it out of the way. Well, no, uh -huh. actually. Do the merchant one last. That way we don't lose the animals on the way back to an outpost. Yeah. That's the sunken grove is the first one. It's got a lot, jeez. This one's right here, sunken grove. And the next one is the crooked masts. And shipwreck bay is the bottom one. Liar's background. So, 
Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Start raising the anchor. They should probably. I keep forgetting to press the button to talk about. <laughs> no. Which way we gotta go? Uh. West. West. Make like a little circle here. Go west, then southwest, then southeast, then east, and then back to our starting place. Is there any way you can change that white flag up top, the color of that? No, I was uh, I was looking on the forums last night about that, and they were saying that it's dependent on the sales. So I'm wondering whether or not maybe they're going to add a new uh, a new part, you know, like in the future, where you can buy flags. Yeah. But I was on a sloop just a little bit ago with a kid. I ended up playing only with like I only played with like kind of 15 minutes before you got a one, <laughs> and. Uh, I looked at his flag, I asked him, because his flag was blue, but he said it looked white to him, so I don't know. Uh, I think it was because I joined, I joined him randomly, and I'm thinking maybe where he was already underway, maybe it gave him, like, uh, maybe the game gave, gave him priority of some sort, I don't know. No. But he also had a customized hull, so maybe it's dependent on the hull, and I never noticed it. Yeah. Before. How much money you got right now? 25.7. I still haven't spent a single thing on F20, so... You've been yeah. playing a lot, huh? I saved up for three or four days to get the sales. I didn't spend a, on a single thing for three or four days straight. I haven't spent anything since the game came out, officially. <laughs> I yeah. haven't played nearly as much as you. Yeah, I've been playing this like... Dude, this game's like crack. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it's real fun. I mean, it does kind of get monotonous at times, you know? Sailing from island to island, hunting treasures and shit all the time, you know? Because it's, it's a lot easier when you have a, a friend to help out. You know? Yeah. Then you don't have to always watch your back. And then maybe you can take on another sloop or galleon whenever you see one. But whenever it's you're by yourself. PvP. Oh yeah. Last night was pretty fun. I can't believe we all died. <laughs> well, it, it, see what happened was that I saw him on the ship, right? And then he's going up, and then I saw someone shoot their shotgun. And I just assumed, oh he's dead. Okay, and I started raising the anchor because I was like, oh we gotta we gotta get this anchor <laughs> raised right away. The next thing you know, I fucking get shot and I'm dead. I'm like, oh shit, nobody killed him. And then we all died. Yeah. I, I don't even understand how we got on the boat. Well, I guess we he, just should have been paying more attention he to can't. the... We paid attention to the ladders. He did not come up on the ladder. He had a cannonball and hit the mast and bounced down. The only way I could think. At least we didn't have a bunch of treasure. We didn't have a bunch on the We didn't have anything, yeah. Yeah, we'd already stopped in on the outpost. Nope. Anchor. Yeah, we did that smart. Oh, we don't need to. Uh oh. Oh, we We're not going fast that. enough. It won't cause damage. Uh oh. I'm gonna drop it before we stop it, I guess. Yeah, we're all good down here. Oh, uh, let me unload everything. Anybody ever won that uh, quest for a thousand bananas or void no. or whatever that was? I didn't even notice. What island are we on? The sunken grove. Take oh, the uh, bounty. Which one's the sunken grove? Which map? 
That's the top one. Top one, okay. We're at the bottom, so... Yeah, we gotta go north. Oh no, I forgot to change my weapons. Oh well. change the weapons and stuff. I wish you could change the default. Oh, it's a nice chest, Captain. Nice. I didn't even catch up with you. There you are. Oops. Ooh, there's something shiny over here. I'll go grab it. Another message in the model. Oh, are those any good? Or are they just like average? Yeah, they're just add ons to the standard voyages. Well, it's a merchant voyage. Creative cannonballs. So we need to go to. Oh, that will be nice. Let's go get that so we could have it. Yeah. I turned one in earlier just to see how rewarding it would be. It's yeah. not, not at all. So it's just worth it just to keep it, huh? Yeah, it's it's a waste to turn it in. Uh -huh. just yeah, let's go get that before it expires. Ooh, I found another book. Who would bury what's left of their fortune beneath the sands, just waiting to be uncovered? What's the most expensive chest? So far, the one, the, the standard ones that I've found uh, are the chest of a thousand grogs. But the captain's yeah. chest, chest of a thousand grogs. Strongholds are pretty expensive too, right? I haven't really seen anything else yet. I... Oh, you haven't done a single skull one, have you? Nope. I did one in the final beta with B and his Well, I did them in buddies. beta, but not, not in this. Yeah, but I mean, there's the stronghold chest, which are really good. Where do you put all the stuff just below deck? Yeah, I put them in between the vanity chest down there. Oh. There it is. Did we find anything else on the island? Just messages and bottles. Uh, let's just go to the... Uh, straight back to well, we can go east or west doesn't matter We're well, which, facing uh, west yeah let's go west and then we'll head south from the, well yeah, don't you want to get that uh we have to get it by the 30th midday yeah we can go to any outpost this any is outpost, outpost. Dagger okay Dagger let's Dagger. go to outpost it says galleon's grave outpost that's where it has to be turned in oh okay okay uh let's get going then so you said the closest one is one or one on the way is where closest one on the way is west. Oops, you already had it. <laughs> yeah, I don't like leaving the parts of that. Yeah, that's smart. So west. Straight ahead, basically, I think. That island right there with me. Not good. Yeah, that's it.
target practice. <laughs> <laughs> I did it jumping. <laughs> you want to try to bring us around on the left hand side of the pier? Oh, yeah. Sails all the way up so you can turn chart. Mm -hmm. Drop anchor. Go. Don't check for leaks. We got another sleep behind us. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, put one little hole on it. Anchor's up. Is he close? Oh, I pulled up some videos. Come on, Cortana. For you. Fuck. Did we just fucking need to grab Cortana. Cannibal thing. What? Fucking Cortana popped up. Oh shit, they're right here. Turning the ship. Uh, He's not gonna do anything. Turn him just anyways. Oh. Ah, ha, ha, he oh, is. Is just one guy? Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. Nope, two. Did I get one? They're going down. Uh huh. Get anything they got. And let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, get that chest real quick. Here, want me to get it? Grabbing stuff off the boat. It's gonna come uh -huh. floating up. Yeah, grab that captain's chest. There? What captain? Ours? Yeah, our, ours. Let's go turn it in real quick. They're not cause... gonna spawn in right now? No, they're gonna spawn on uh, another ship. But they're gonna come running for I us. hear somebody. We killed them both, but they're gonna come for us. Their boat's going down. There's no way uh -huh. to stop it. That's their mistake. They shouldn't have come in gunning. Get that, uh... Cannonball thing. Okay. Got it. Now you can start going around. There we go. They're back. Nice. Where are they? They're on the boat. No. Oh, they're right here. Whose chest do they have? That's theirs, right? Yep. Let's go get him. He's swimming from a shark. Got a barrel there. Ah, he got me. It's 
son of a bitch. I forgot about ammo. <laughs> I had to reload and didn't. My bad. Oh, I didn't kill him. He's gonna kill me. No. Oh, I'm I should out of be ammo back too. I should be How back did I run out of ammo? I only shot a couple times. See, we should have just gone with Joe. Yeah, we'll be okay. No way he'll get to the boat in time to sink it. I don't right. know how I ran out of ammo. I only had two shots. I'm I don't remember ready. shooting at all. Okay, good. Just get going then. Fuck him. I shot the gunpowder barrel he was right next to and didn't kill him. It blew up. Killed the shark. Come on, load. Game, load. Damn it. Load, load, load. I'm going back. Aw, oh, come on. This is pissing me off. Longest fucking load ever. Did we lose the boat? I have no idea. I'm just getting back in now. I'm loading as well. I hear water. No, that isn't a good sign. We didn't lose the boat. Okay, good. Where is he? He hasn't left. Is he still in the water? The mermaid is still here. Okay, let's just so get out of here. here. No, let's go kill that son of a bitch. Okay. Screw that. Where are they? I'm gonna stay on the boat. Alright, yeah, you guard the boat. I'm gonna go find him. He's gotta be here. The mermaid's here. Okay, I see them. They're on the dock. They're on the dock. Alrighty. He's right there where I'm shooting. Stop. Nice to meet you. Okay, we got a sloop coming towards us. That'd be them. Alright, let's just go ahead and bail. Did you get him? Nah, I don't see him. Get out of here. Put down something. You see it? It's off the port. I see him over there now. Yep. I'm shooting. Make sure you're full on ammo. Roger, we're having stuff. Shipwreck pay. He's still off our port bow. Oh yeah, looks like he's closing. Yeah, he is, he is. He's coming right towards us. Beyond the cannon. Got him once. Nice. I'm turning to see if I can get you some more shots, but I doubt he's gonna even... I think he's gonna fuck off. Yeah. No, I'm gonna stop shooting. Let's see yeah, if they yeah. run. They're yeah, running away. It's always nice to get a first shot on them. Just fuck off. Especially when they're the ones that were ballsy, you know? Yeah. 
Man, this game gives me such a rush. Oh, I heard a uh, cannon shot. Yeah, there's such a rush us. whenever you do the PvP in this. Yeah, they sh they're trying to back roses actually. Oh, really? We don't have anything really valuable aboard now, do we? Yeah, we're trying to get a little long cannonballs. Oh, they got we the got cannonball crate. No, they didn't. I put it down here. Oh. Right here. Yeah, so we don't have anything valuable. We need to just keep going. Yeah. They're... They're still chasing, huh? I mean, I don't mind engaging them, but we only got... Like, let's see, 39 cannonballs. I've got 10. I'm holding Okay, 10. so 49. I figured since we were in action, I'd hold on to everything I can. Oh, yeah, I think I have 10. So that's why I'm on my count. We got 29 in the barrel, 10 on myself, 10 on me. So. Let's turn into them again. Let's go sink them and stop them from chasing. It should, once you kill them, it shouldn't spawn them that close to you. I don't like that. Yeah, it should be like on the opposite side of the map. Yeah. Not two islands away. Because you just killed them. Now it's right. like, come on. Now I have to fight yeah. them again. I'm gonna raise sails a little bit half mast. Okay. Just watch Try this rock here. Rock. You could do an anchor turn if you want. Okay. Yeah, we're good. The storm's behind us. We don't want to get that. Not with the fight brewing. Well, that was, that's actually the direction we were heading. South. Oh no, the ship like right here to the north. Or to the yeah, north. we passed it already. I wonder where they go. Oh, sorry. They're straight ahead. Where are they? Where the fuck did they go? There they are, off our starboard. There they are, yep, they are. You want me to slow down and see if they turn about? Or do you need to stretch up here? I mean... They're kind of slowing down too. Yeah, they're turning towards us. Thanks. No, they ain't. They stopped. They anchored. They are in heavy seas at anchor with full sail, so... Your call. Let's just go ahead and turn in here to shipwreck there uh -huh. and see what happens. I'll um I'll go get the treasure stuff, you can stay on the boat. Alrighty, that's a good idea, because otherwise I mean we go coming. sink them, there's nothing on board. Yeah. Well there isn't gonna be anything, we just killed them a little while ago. Yeah. I did take Maybe one of those souls, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to sail around to the other side of Shipwreck Bay, anyways. Well, let's give a little more sail then. So it's on the south side. Start raising. I didn't realize the treasure was on the south. Uh, I'll go get it. Yeah, this is right there where the shipwreck is. At the Black White. I'll turn the boat and bring it towards you. Oh. Let's 
right in the middle of the ship, something. right? I was yeah. gonna waste all that time going around for nothing. Another captain's chest. Nice. One thing I've started to notice the past two days, if you're with somebody, uh, it's more rewarding. That's nice. If you're playing solo, it's like you only get cast away in seafarers. It's like rage inducing. <laughs> Like I've not got a sea of a, a chest of a thousand grogs by myself. I've gotten maybe two or three captain's chests by myself. Have you gotten any crying chests? No, I haven't even seen that one yet. I, yeah, saw, I saw that, that on the stream. Yeah, they cry and they fucking chest of a boat. thousand sorrows or the chest of sorrows or whatever. Yeah. It's you got eyes on these guys still? Yeah, they're still down there. Okay. Let me see if I can find some more cannonballs then. On that. Alrighty. Yeah, not a bad idea to stock up. Actually, I can't see him right now, so I'm gonna run up the crow's nest. Rocks in the way. That means they can't see us either. Yeah, there's still. Hell shit. I'm gonna take the cannonball. Fucking crate. Good idea. That's actually a brilliant idea. <laughs> that's what it's that's what it's good for right there. No. See much up here. I'm trying to look around from up here. And I see barrels. Where at? Uh, I got the island. one by the ship. Island to the right of the ship. There's three barrels over there. Usually these outer islands have uh, like little objects and maps on them, but I'm not seeing anything right now. That sloop sailed on. for a few. Okay. Yeah, he's heading off to the northeast. This is the one island doesn't seem like it has much on it. Yeah, I know. I'm looking around with the with the periscope or whatever, and I'm not seeing anything. But you're getting good chests, so. Uh huh. Let's just head back to the next island. I'm coming back to the ship. Didn't even get enough cannonballs to fill the thing up. <laughs> I'm surprised there's... I'm gonna look on this ship wreck one more time. There's normally a lot of shit on these things. 
Yeah, I was looking on top. Usually on top of the captain's quarters is where there's a chest. I didn't see anything up there. Did you run up the uh, the mast in the front? Um, no, I didn't. No. There's a cave up there. Sometimes you can find like gunpowder barrels and stuff. Um. Problem. What's that? When that contract expired, the fucking chest just disappeared. No fucking way. Yeah. No way. It didn't have all the cannonballs though. No. no, I only had four in there. Well, that's good. Only four. Um, that's stupid. That is stupid. Look, come right here. Try to, I was literally right here. I hadn't gone far. I don't know. Unless I'm blind. It's right in this area. I don't see it. No. Well, wow, that sucks. Yeah, right when that contract expired. Oh. Lame. Well, that's good to know because we would have had a whole bunch of cannonballs in there if we had lost them. <laughs> right, yeah, I mean, that could have been 50 cannonball damage. Ooh, yay, Captain's chest. Yeah. You found another? Yep. Sweet. I'm coming down. Hey, sleep's inbound, sleep's inbound, sleep's okay, inbound. Okay, let's go, let's go. How close? Very. Well, not very, very, but he's, he's, he's close. Okay, I see him. Yep, start, start maneuvering, I'm right here. Hey. Lower your sails and shit. Yep, okay. This must have been the dude. Yeah, it's gotta be the same yep. one. Got your, want me to put sails down? Got it. Ready on that cannon? Yep. Watch the ladders. Alright. I'm dropping Two hits. I'm dropping anchors. Destroy these Three fuckers. hits. Raising anchor. Keeping an eye on the ladder. Okay, they're running. Just fucking go. We got the chests? Yeah. We got two. Got to go up down here. Let's keep chasing him, huh? Chase? Well, I don't know what you think. They, uh, they're, they keep doing this, I mean. Are they sinking a bit? I hit him three or four times. I'm just worried about our cannonball situation. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about too. We don't have a, we don't have a hundred cannonball. Oh, if you want to stop right here, there's barrels, actually. Just keep an eye on them. Okay, just keep a close eye on them, okay? I raise the sails and raise the anchor. Right. Fill it up. If you have to, I'll set sail and you can take the Remnant Express. Back yeah. The yep. Definitely. Let me know if they start turning around towards us. They were on the other side of the rock. I can't see. If they come on the other side of this, I'll let you know. There's a lot of cannonballs here. Nice. Just what we needed. Uh, if you, I don't know if there's any way you can get the ship a little closer that way. It could be a little quicker. But just make sure you're in a position to get the fuck out if they come back. And then a storm's coming in, so... Okay, I see them right there. They're kind of off in a distance, aren't they? Yeah, a little bit. They might come back to harass us, thinking that we might have treasure on the island still. Yeah.
put a right, gunpowder barrel up in the crow's nest. Okay. So if we have to, we can jump down and <laughs> do it that way. Good suicide bomber. Allah Akbar. Where they at? Off our port aft. Uh -oh. Looks like they're just scoping us out still. They might have somebody in the water. Uh huh. So I'll keep a lookout on the ladder. I don't want to be greedy here, so. What was it, that? I'm just getting. I don't want to be greedy here, so I'm just getting the cannonballs. And... I'll be greedy. Don't leave anything for them. Uh huh. I don't have a problem with being greedy. See a thieves. <laughs> yeah. I just don't want to, uh. Not like that. I just don't want to, like, stay here too long and get sunk because of it. Right. We're getting a good amount of cannonballs though. So. Oops, fell off the boot. How close are they? Not super close. No. They are beginning to close. They're okay. From our That's rear. it. That's all cannonballs, so. That's so just a couple bananas left, but I think we're fine with that. Let's get out of here. So they're behind us? Yep, they're on okay, the other side. Him. Let's go fucking kill them now. Yep. Tired of these guys. Okay, they shot. I don't know if that's a dude. That's a cannonball. Okay. Damn, those are getting close. And they can't have any cannonballs because this is the guy that sunk earlier, right? He's gonna be on the port side. Port side. Rough seas. Yeah, we're getting ready to head into a storm too. Oh. Right, we're coming into each other. Mm -hmm. Hard to starboard. Not shit on my candles. God damn, come on. Ah, shit. Or two. I need to heal a bit. Hit me once. Looks like they're going down. Just be careful with their sniper shots. God! Report again. This... Something happened with the fucking physics. What's that? I don't know, the cannonballs aren't going where they should be. I, I don't know if it's because of the storm or what. Let me bail some water. We're coming into each other. We might ram. Oh shit. I'm gonna Damn. repair it. I'm repairing it. I'm out of ammo. Just tell me if they on the ship I'm repairing. Coming hard to starboard. Nobody's aboard. See anybody?
should have fucking killed him, but I missed so many damn shots. <laughs> it's alright. This storm, oh my god. Where are they at? They Dead ahead. We're gonna ram them again. Uh, actually, here. Starboard side gun. Starboard side gun. God fucking A. Okay, now I'm getting tilted. Okay. Oh. The cannonball is not going where I'm telling it to go. <laughs> Here, you wanna steer and I'll shoot? Sure. on bailing duties too. Like those that first two engagements that was fine, but I don't know. I, don't know. I guess it's the storm. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'm turning. Starboard side. No, oh, port side, port side, port side. You're right. Oh, we got hit. Direct hit. Get out of there. I ran out of good side. Ah, you missed too. Fuck. Disrupt wow, that. that is a... I see what you're talking about. Yeah, that was. That should have been a hit. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Up to you. Okay. Uh, I know, I look, so you gotta kill these fuckers. I don't even care if we have two chests on board right now. Is it one guy or is it two? Uh, it was two originally. Did you hit him? No, I got close though. I might go over there with a dynamite. Jeez Louise. He got lucky. Oh, we might ram. Starboard side, starboard side. Cannon. Patching Fuck. up the holes. Bye. Next time, I'm gonna go over there with the dynamite. The gunpowder. Okay. Okay, port side, port side cannon, port side cannon. Port side cannon. Nice. Nice, that's a good two hits. He is alone. Okay. Run up. Well, I mean, it's possible he's not, and the other guy's down in the hole. But we'll find out. Yeah. If you can get on there and drop their anchor. You want me to do that instead of dropping the gunpowder? No, I mean, whatever. We're gonna ram right now, so you might be able to get on board. I'm gonna ram them intentionally. Get ready, get ready, get ready. I'm already off. Oh, we missed. Starboard side cannon. I'm gonna have to get on the mermaid. Oh, you what? You missed? 
Yeah, he turned away from me. I'm swimming towards the ship. Got a hit. Sweet. I have one solo PvP against another solo sloop. <laughs> Keep turning to starboard. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost to the boat. Still? Ah, uh, you're gonna sail by me. I know, never made it. Couldn't see us. So. old-fashioned way. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta be on the side of cannonballs. Okay, port side. If you need I to am. raise the sails. Raise them a bit. He's dead ahead. You wanna adjust our sails real quick? Cannonballs, thirty. We got ten. This dude's got. This dude's gotta be almost out of cannonballs. I think that's why he's running away now. He's not turning to engage anymore. He's gotta be done. I think his name was Sharkbait. He's turning to the left. Yep. on this vector right here. He's going long or short on one side. I think he's gonna take us to the edge of the map. Are we almost there yet? We're gonna get there soon. Uh -huh. Dragon's fall is as east as it goes. So you're either Hala Akbar than fucking engages? Well, I mean, that takes care of him, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, he's not he's probably not going to be a threat now if we turn it away, but... It's the principle of the matter here. I agree. 
<laughs> yeah, you can do some snipping. Damn that too far. It's dropping. I wish there was run one. It's too far. I wish there was one front face in the cannon. Yeah, or a swivel gun or something. Yeah, just a little guy or something. How far do these cannons shoot you? Pretty far. I'm well, actually wondering whether or not we should try it. I, I'll try it. Oh, he's turning actually. Yeah. And uh, go the... past him. Okay, he's turning actually, so let's see if we can do something. Oh, I can't remember this cannon. I can almost hit him from here. Yes. Let's see if we're gonna get more when doing this way. We're, we're closing on big time. I think I got him. You killed him? I, I I knocked him off his I knocked him off the rudder. Nice. <laughs> I mean, you just keep on harassing them like that, you know. Where is he? I don't even see him. I'm just gonna keep shooting towards the rudder because I can't see Same. him. Look through the spyglass, see if I see any different. I don't see him either. This might be below deck getting bananas or something. I don't know. It kind of looks like his ship is turning on its own. I wonder if we killed him. Maybe. Just watch our ship. I'm gonna switch yeah. to the uh, cutlass. Just he just case. caught. He just caught the. No, I just caught. Hold up. Okay. He hit me. Is he like beam body or something? Okay, if you want to try it, but we're gonna, if we turn and I miss, I mean, that's it. Try to board him with a gun. Yeah. Yep, I empty my cannonballs. Just full bananas. Okay, I'm loaded in. Aim me, turn the ship, and shoot me. 
Hold on one sec, I think we can catch the wind and catch up with him a little bit better. Okay, screw it. Let's do that. The wind's behind us more now. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't have his sail properly managed. Okay. He's on that kind of shooters. Yeah, I see him. I think he's gotta be a little. There's no way he's Yeah, 100%. Three hundred and fifty. Turn the ship a little if you can. Turn it to the left, right. We're good, we're good. Start hitting them. Get a little closer. Oh my, he got me on the cannon. I killed him maybe? He might kill me. Just keep shooting him while he's right there. He's sinking, dude. Alright, I'm gonna stop Oh shit, we're turning ship. away. Yeah, you drive for a second, I'll patch us up. Turn towards him. Yeah, I am. He had us turning full away. And he left it. Sorry. This dude can't have any cannonballs left. Like, what the fuck? Damn I don't it, know. I had a hundred earlier whenever I stopped. I had just started. I picked up a hundred cannonball to start the game. Alright, I'm coming. Okay. Up. Okay. Starboard side. Starboard side. Okay, port it's side. It's on into him, yeah. Yeah, port side, okay. We got, I'll try to ram. But, let's see, he's, he's turning probably, away. Looks to me like he's going under. I don't see much Good. Blood. Yeah, me either. He's still on top, just sniping. Nah, he's fine. We're starting to get long cannonballs, save those. Where's he at? Straight in front of us. I'm gonna try to board him this time. I unloaded my cannonball at 16 in the barrels. Okay, is he going left or right of the island? Get some ground on in here. Left? Yep, at the moment, left. So I'll go left a little bit. Ah, he's gonna go right. Big wave. You don't right, yeah. I got the sails. It's a cannonball count. Sixteen. Jeez. Okay, start our cannon. You wanna shoot me over there? Sure. I'm in. Is that far enough? Yep. 
Ei. Ei. <laughs> you in there? Drop his anchor. Drop his anchor. You dropped it? Nice. Yep. Okay. I'll go up right next to him. He didn't have anything aboard. You kill him? Yep. He had the Crow's Nest Fortress and Crook's Hollow marked on his map. Okay, right here. He's Get, got cannon no ball. cannonballs? He's got cannonballs? Yeah, well not many. Uh -huh. Okay, Take I'm gonna away. watch his ship. I'm gonna start sinking him. Maybe we should spawn kill him for a second. Take his cannonball. <laughs> Oh yeah, go kill this kid, his cannonballs. He's on now. He's coming up to our ship. He's dead. <laughs> go get his cannonballs. Yep. Should be sinking slowly. Oh, that took way too long. Fucking dick. He's got no more cannonballs. Okay, fuck him. That's you sure that's everything on his ship? Yep. He's sinking? He's going under. Put one more into him. Let's get the fuck out of here. Watch the ladders while I put the anchor up. Yep. So that's what we need to do from now on. Just board him, drop the anchor, and shoot him. It's <laughs> the best way. Adios, fucker. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> All right, now we need to go. Which, oh my god! <laughs> to the north. North? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he shot at us. From what? I don't fucking know. Oh, his ship didn't go down fast enough. He responded on his ship. He's gonna have Did to take a mermaid. Still? Yeah, he still went under. Okay. That was a good success. Yeah. How long did that take? 30 fucking minutes? Right. That storm was a pain in the ass. Yeah. Well, that's We should have killed him at first. I had a good amount of time with shots on, but they kept on going up. Rough seas make it difficult to shoot. Yeah. Or just their sails. Learning how to uh, to adjust your shot and aim your shots is not uh, yeah, really no. easy in this game either. It kind of took me a while. Uh, I'm still figuring it out. Because you can't, oh, you don't always get a good judge for uh, an estimate for range. Yep. Uh huh. Here, you navigate us real quick. I'll be right back. There's a, uh, a shipwreck right up here to the left. Back. There's a shipwreck right here. Oh, nice. One of us needs to stay on the boat, I guess. I'll go get the stuff. Alrighty. I'll run up the crow's nest. Oh. Where is it? Directly right below? The bow. Starboard bow. Starboard bow.
I hate going into these things. Yeah, it's glitchy the way you get snagged on the uh, on the planks and shit. Yeah. I have a uh, skull head. Now you get the phone. I think our buddy spawned to the south of us. Are you shitting me? He's not moving. I I think I'm going up. Okay, I don't like diving at night. <laughs> this orientation. Swear to God, if he starts chasing us again, I don't have time for that. Literally, yeah. I don't have time for that. <laughs> well, I mean, if he starts it again, I'll I'll jump over there again and fucking we'll do it that way one more time. And that's probably the way we should have done it initially. Yeah. Because the gun battles usually take forever. Because you can do that solo. You can you can get into a gunfight with somebody solo. Yeah. I've done it a couple times, but I've only succeeded at it once by myself. Maybe twice. I don't. I'll have to check all the streams. <laughs> yeah. I saw another sloop off to the west, I think. Oh. But he sailed away. Yeah, I need a cigarette after that, man. These PvP actions are... They get, they get to be kind of intense. Oh, yeah. That one was a little bit all for nothing, though. It would have been better if he had something aboard. Were you taking damage? Jeez. I don't think we're taking any damage. No, I was. I wasn't in the water that long though. hasn't moved yet. Mm -hmm. Shark in the water. Got it. Help me out with something if you can. I'm gonna die. Sloop's on the move. Are us? Not yet.
he's sort of heading in our direction. Not directly, but relatively. Uh -huh. One skull, put it down in the hole. Got a decent amount of cannonballs out of it, so. Nice. Let me go out for one more trip, actually. Yeah, They're not he's too not close, right? He's, he's sailing on. No. He hasn't turned out any of the lanterns either. It's easy to see. I think there's like he three more cannonballs. Up. He's put his cells up, so I'm gonna run out for a smoke real quick. You back. Just 
get that. Do we have a ship off to our uh, port bow? Yeah, we do. See it sloop. Oh my. We're headed for the crooked mass right now. I know, but I want to get these damn quests done so I can freaking go and eat. <laughs> we could try to go to a different island if he's going to be up here. User joined your channel. I guess. Yeah. Or. Okay, let's, let's go oh. do east. Yeah, he stopped there. Okay. Let's see, who's that Tyler? I trust the Americans to say hi, but continental friends. <laughs> yeah, I know, continental fuck. I do, I do, I, oh, there's my exactly. greeting, I say hi, man. That's how I Im impose on woman, like, hi. Hey, uh, pick up line. Which I'm gonna call it. So I hear some dude in the UK got, uh, I don't know if it's old news, but, uh, got arrested for having his dog, uh, do, uh, the Heil Hitler salute. Oh yeah, that was last. <laughs> yeah, you go week. fuck. You're living in a Nazi world, bro. Last week, okay. How the? Why? Well, like, do you live in a free country or what the fuck? It's all these hate crimes, but the problem is if somebody does, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a classic if you. You know, if you're a feminist or, I know. Uh, Let the people look stupid, man. That's LGBT. what I don't get. That's not. Well, that's why you did it. I mean, it, it, it was a fucking I mean, joke. Yeah, I mean, it's it's dodgy because he's <coughs> what he's saying to provoke the dog into <coughs> doing the action. <coughs> but he does actually say at the start, basically, his girlfriend's be sort of with this dog and thinks it's like thing can do no wrong so he's gonna make it do the most evil thing in <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> in the street it's not like he's saying hey look this not he great i mean he, he is kind of saying it's it's a nasty thing to do um so hey i mean i get it it's a joke and everything that's people need to lighten up it's like get I, I, I hate crime. I hate crime is when somebody gets hurt, you know, like wounded. Well, and and their life, and property, and or their, their well-being, like their physical well-being, is, 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 is uh, you know. Opposed. I mean, it's actually kicking up the storm over here because this is the problem. You've got snowflakes that get hit by anything. Right. But the problem is there's been a few scandals recently where basically there's been grooming gangs in various parts of the country abusing like um uh, what do you call it like prone like um uh, teenage girls and child aged girls and stuff that are either come from broken homes or, right, or they, on the streets and all of this. Them. Yeah. yeah, and I guess it's grooming them into being prostitutes and, you know, not just sexually abusing them and all this kind of sick shit. The football's getting done about that, and the problem is a lot of the guys in relation to that are actually from certain backgrounds, you know, sort of cultural backgrounds. So people are really getting pissed off as this double standing, you know, you, like you say, people being hurt by, oh my god, that's an offensive joke to the people actually having their people lives. People pointing in the wind. Totally fucked up by six scum. Well, that's wrong with that. I mean, as you say, it's, it's, a, it's a joke. If you don't like it, fair enough. Uh, if you can do better, fair enough. But to think the amount of money this is costing because it's obviously going through the courts, there's lawyers involved and all of this. Yes, again, by the way. But that's... Uh, 
That's the problem. Yeah, it's a waste of money over weirdness. Yeah. Yeah. But the hilarious thing is I've noticed in, in the UK, there's been, you know, Muslims and stuff that have said hateful things, and I don't see the UK well, that's it. I mean, that's arresting what those people. This is me off you. There's a place in in a local park by Westminster, it's called Speaker's Corner, and it's traditionally it's where people get on their boxes and say whatever they want. And for years there's been like, hardcore Islamic preachers screaming down with the UK, down with the US, and down with anybody else that we don't like. And yet, nobody blinks. But the moment some white guy gets up and says, hey look guys, this will make you laugh. Instead of, uh, oh you sick yep. fuck, just crawl back under your rock or something like that, it's like, we you know, unleash the lawyers from hell sort of thing, it's just trying to go to jail. Stay with the ship, I noticed that guy was uh, chasing us, so. Alrighty. But, as I say, that's the problem with the modern world, it's pathetic. Yeah, one thing that, uh, one thing my ex, my ex's son said, I was, cause I, I was basically taking over the father role over there for the years, and he was having problems with kids at school, and I told him, you know, sticks and stones, Briar, you just try your best to ignore the bullies, I, I know it's, it's a tough thing, you know, you, you can stand your ground only so much, I don't want him, I didn't want him to get in fights and shit, so, I told him just not to worry about what other kids say, if they push you, you know, that, that might be a different story, but as far as words, sticks and stones, and then he told me, he told me, his teacher said to him at some point that you remember words forever. That that saying, sticks and stones, isn't true. Like, man, that, and that's exactly what's wrong with kids today. They're, they're teaching these kids to take offense, emotional offense, yeah, and, and be butthurt over some words forever. Well, that's it. I mean, I used to get into fights at school, and I mean, I remember once I got sucker punched, and like, some kid from school, we'd had like a dispute like earlier in the day and on the way home this kid basically well he didn't so much jump me he basically tapped me on the shoulder and wham right, right in the, the uh, left eye <laughs> so I smid hot one side of my face looked like the elephant man for like a, a week <laughs> um, but I went home um, because I was just around the corner and you know, went through the door straight in the kitchen, started putting cold water on my face because um, I could feel it swell up. <laughs> anyway, my mom came in, saw me, she's like, what the, you know, so and so has happened to you? And then my dad came through, he's like, right, you go out there and you get that, you know, didn't swear, but he basically said, you go out there, you kick him and beat him. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't I'm do that, dead. you know, I'm not like that, you know, but, you no, well, that's the thing. You should it's stand your ground, like, definitely, don't, don't be a, a bitch. I mean, I only, I only came in that time because, you know, it was like, I could feel it s swelling up, um, you know, any other time I'd have just pursued the guy and given him a kick, and I mean, a week later I actually did, but I, I did go straight out after that on his instruction, <laughs> because he gave him well, a good high I remember as well. Cool. Yeah, luckily I was never to put it in context, if I'd come running in, bawling my eyes out, saying, oh yeah, mom, dad, whatever, somebody called me a name, they'd have told me to get a grip and, you know, don't be such a... Yeah, don't be such yeah, a... Don't be such a voice, just ignore it and move on. And that's the problem with education, is these teachers are part of the problem, you've got too many of these people, and I, I suppose it's probably because endemic, if it's like over here, lots of teachers now are teaching, but they don't actually have kids themselves yet, so they Right, they don't have any understanding. I, I mean, there's not a huge problem with that, it's, that's an age-old problem, you know? It got, goes yeah. all the way back hundreds of years, we've had teachers and stuff, even nannies that don't have kids, but... But the thing well, yeah, is, but usually they don't nannies traditionally were usually quite mature, though, but now you get right, teachers in the sort of lower mid twenties and right, they're not mature. They they don't know. They don't understand the family life and how to raise children properly. 
And that's it, and I think a lot of them have kind of a nice rose-tinted sort of view of how it should be, rather than the reality of how yeah, it is. like idealistic utopian type shit. Well, um, here's one of the big problems. I remember when I was in school, okay, like I said, luckily I was never bullied or anything, but I remember there's like, oh, if you, you know, bully or something, somebody pushes you or punches you or something, you know, just go tell the teacher, do this or that, alright? Because I remember... It was some. It would happen sometimes. And some kids would, you know, fight back. Obviously, but it was you got equal punishment. Just like you were the one that went and sucker punched the kid just because you're defending yourself. Yeah, which is schools, absolute. The schools bullshit. frown upon defending yourself. And it's that is retarded. I got. It's that's part of the reason. Absolutely retarded. I uh, I got bullied a lot as a hem I'm a hemophiliac creep leader. Whenever I moved to West Virginia, the, all these dumb fucks around here didn't know what hemophilia was. So like everybody singled me out and, and picked on me. I didn't have a problem with that. I defended no, myself but, every time. And I, I, free bleeder or not, <laughs> well, free bleeder or not, I'm not. I've always, I don't know. I've never been one to shy down from anything too physical. But you see, if I, I understand the risks and everything, but at, we, yeah, luckily but we do live in the modern effect. world where if. I've got medicine. I mean, I, I wouldn't be alive past my teens uh, about 30, 40, 50 years ago. Well, that's it. I mean, I pretty much killed off half the Russian love family lot. Yeah, but, there's um, the human cost and everything. I mean, it took them forever to figure out. But you see, that. if I'd gone out and saw but, being somebody with a condition, um, yeah, not so much for a laugh, but as a kind of a prowess thing. My dad would have given me a good hiding for that. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't have been hey, able like, to hold my head high in public. Like, what, what the hell do you I think am. you're gonna? What What are you doing? What are you going to accomplish by picking on somebody that that is more uh, potentially weaker than you? Like, I mean, I wasn't. I'm not. Maybe now I am. Uh, I'm. I'm no, no near I mean, fit if, if, anymore. If you but. Sort of Talk but with I, everyone I, from afar using your condition as ah, you can't touch me, and somebody said, so I've had No, yeah, no I, I would never him, say that. The hell with that, no. People sort of, hey, look, you know, they're gonna prove we can beat that guy. I mean, it was the same with girls as well. I mean, if you, if you hit a girl, you you weren't friends with, yeah, you know, they wouldn't necessarily yeah. turn on you and rip you apart, but you'd, you'd be seen as sort of a but I would get the, uh, what would happen to me, I got into three fights in middle school whenever I first moved here. And uh, by the third fight, uh, the first two they gave me in-school suspension and they suspended the other kids. So in a way, you know, it's like they got a vacation and I had to stay at school separated from everybody else. And then after the third fight, I, I whooped this big kid's ass, man. Like, he pushed me. I gave him three different times. I told him. I stopped. I told him, you know, you better stop. And the third time he pushed me, I turned around and started beating the shit out of his head. <laughs> he went down to the ground and I got I got uh, homeschooled after that. <laughs> because I had all those witnesses around, all the other kids. I'd already gone and told the teacher just like I had been told to, you know. And nobody came and stopped him. So I beat the shit out of him. And then and after that, they put me in homeschool. Like, they sent a teacher out to my house and everything. Like, like they couldn't really punish me for it because, I mean, what the hell was I supposed to do? But I don't know, it was, I don't know, these school systems are fucked. Yeah, I mean, that's ridiculous, you get perfectly blamed for self-defense. But I mean, that's one thing that used to prove true is, you know, every, every person would have their snapping point and this is here. Yeah, the, the problem with somebody repeatedly being harassed or attacked is that they learn how to fight pretty damn quick. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, so and, uh, well, I was reading about that uh, Emma Goldman, I think her name was, with the Parkland shooting down in Florida. She was talking on stage about how she was one of the kids that bullied that kid that went and shot up the school. Like. And now she's calling to have guns taken away from everybody because of her actions, because of what she did to that kid. The guns didn't kill anybody. Yeah. They're bullying that kid. I mean, I'm not well, that's saying... that's what makes me sick about those instances. Yeah, the terrible atrocities and... I'm not saying the kid was justified in shooting a bunch of bullies, but... But by but damn, you know, like stop blaming the guns. Blame yourself. Well that's it, and that's what I really hate about it. It's just so boxing that comes inevitably every time, you know, it's always a sort of oh we gotta get rid of them. And of course well, it's, you know, it's that's like what hilarious. what can you say? I mean you can't exactly simply say, Hey, free guns for everyone but Well yeah, they've always said, Oh look 
completely Let's blow up the tune. Oh my god. What was it? Oh, well, I was saying though. Oh, yeah, the, <laughs> their talking points have been, oh, you know, nobody needs this, that, this, you know, we need to regulate, we need to, you know, ban assault weapons, do this, that, this, right? But now they've just gone full fucking retard, and now they're going for full repeal of the Second Amendment right now, so, I mean... Well, that hog kid, yeah, as soon as, uh... Because if you can appeal one part, suddenly the whole thing's up for adjustment, right. and exactly. what's it going to become, uh, It's the minority right. charter. I mean, come on, that I ship's mean, sailing again. That's I'm why it's not near impossible to change it. It's, it's basically like a security seal to make sure it's not manipulated. Well, that hog kid, as soon as he got done telling everybody that we need to repeal the Second Amendment, the day like the next day, the school system down there in Broward County that decided was to. So uh, ironic. Yeah, it? and then he's going to sit there and start bitching about, oh, well, they're encroaching on our First Amendment rights and our yeah. Fourth Amendment rights. Go fuck yourself, kid. <laughs> like, man, you what? About that, you were right? just they screaming have about have the Second Amendment. Now at that school, now he's all yeah. bitching and complaining. Yeah, they're violating our constitutional well, rights, but yeah, he's trying to get one of them taken away. Like, go fuck yourself. I don't. Yeah. The thing is, uh, and I'm not turning this into a pro-Trump thing, but Trump said maybe there should be more people out there doing the protecting. Um, since there were a number of failures in that Florida Well, school. that's the thing. That's one thing. Know, America is we're leaving. The FBI. And a week later, we're losing. that security guy that literally, as soon as he saw the threat, he took him down, and there were no more yeah. casualties. And it, you don't it hear about those about stories us. too often, but they well, they, yeah, are, they, they do they happen. They it under the rug because it doesn't fit their narrative. More well, narrative, so they just ignore it. That's, yeah. that's why they're ignoring the economy right now. The economy's doing fucking great, and they just ignore it. And what's headline CNN news? Fucking Stormy Daniels. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. I would say the economy's what? doing great. It's, well, it's doing being subsidized good. and fucking. Yeah, yeah. look at the Stormy Daniels thing. I mean, what is it? It's nothing more than basically she's supposed to have whacked him on the backside 10 or 15 years ago with a scabby magazine or something, isn't it? It's, it, it the way yeah. it was hyped up, it was almost like Mad Cow's bloody tax return. I saw yeah. a meme the yeah. other day on Facebook. It said, uh, I mean, it apparently Stormy it Daniels. It said, apparently, so, Stormy Daniels only had sex with Trump once. And uh, so, apparently, if you want to get fucked by Trump more than once, you have to be a voter. <laughs> you see, uh, I, I'm a Trump supporter, but things like that, that's, I mean, if the Democrats want to make a comeback, do stuff like that, try and use fucking humor, don't be in retenders like they are. Right, fucking, um, just a little bit of truth is all it takes, really. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like when that, um, why is it the the campaign manager for Trump was like harassed because she kneeled on the White House couch to get yeah, a photo? Ridiculous. And everyone's like, "Oh, it's just disrespectful. Trump should be um, impeached for this <laughs> and all of that kind of ridiculous stuff." And yeah, you're thinking, "Well, wait a second. But wait a second. Obama put, put your knees on the couch. Up on the resolute dead. But, well, I'm thinking more what Clinton did, or, and, oh, and yeah. that's just yeah, what we know he did. Uh -huh. Head underneath I mean, the desk. Hell yeah. Yeah." I mean, apparently, um, sexual impropriety, stroke abuse is acceptable, but, you know, don't put your feet on the couch, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> absolutely no. And, and this is what annoys me, is the absolute face of it, that some of these people can criticize, as you say, it's whiners, people complain about stuff like that when there's serious issues or offenses or problems. I mean, that's, that's part of the problem, which today is, yeah, kids almost encouraged to grow up as whiny bitches because pe people almost encourage them to be triggered by damn near everything. I mean, look at it, after on election night, all these people who are yeah, their crying. eyes out over a fucking yeah, road. Players, isn't it? I mean, get a grip and in four years time make a difference if you don't like it. But bawling your eyes out, like, Bloody Che Guevara has just taken over, or Stalin, <laughs> or Z um, Mao Zedong, or something, and suddenly the you know, next Holocaust is going to be coming. You can't agree. But unfortunately, it'll get worse because I mean, I'm 
mocking all the kids that were bawling their eyes out, but unfortunately they were even mobbly adults. I mean, watching those newscasters and stuff. What was it? Right. A black yeah, I mean, this white is... lash from that black guy. Yeah. Mike Cow basically lash. telling everyone to climb into their bone shoulders. I mean, it was just. It's generational Christ. degradation, man. It, yeah. This is taking. This is taking lash. decades. It's. It's disgusting. I mean, where does it all start in our schools, probably? But. Well, it, I mean, this is. Uh, I, don't, I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want this to be sort of. Yeah, I mean, I hate pointing but, fingers, too, but. But. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like every time you see Hillary Cout complaining about, oh, this is why I lost and there why I lost. And. and yeah, yeah but, she never blamed oh, herself. Like, yeah, maybe, her maybe she shouldn't are, have smashed that. Any no, criticism, it. but it's everybody else, and I mean they even hogging on saying the media was against them and social media was against them. It's like, are you fucking kidding? I mean, you can't even say that with a straight face. The media was absolutely on side. Trump wasn't the best person for the job. He wasn't. He sure as hell wasn't the best candidate available. And how he performs, we'll see. But. The fact is, the Democrats lost that election for one and one reason only, and it was Hillary. They could have run a f fucking Ronald McDonald clown, and they, <laughs> they probably could have. won that election, but no they joke. allowed Hillary to bully them around <laughs> and allow her to run again when anybody else gets one go and then gets struck. She failed against the bomber, that should have been her only chance, but the Clintons are so clawed deep into that party and the party didn't have the balls to say you know sorry to take a hike we we just don't think you're the right person it was all money 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 and well they got their money but they didn't get their presidency i can't find this shit would you northwest grave of kraken's prey and the thing is it's just getting more ridiculous because now they're all Defender, though, when really they should be thrown her under the bus for everything she was because she did lose it entirely of her own bequest. And they're getting even more retarded with this oh, the next woman president. And it's like, no, the next best president is what they should be preaching if it's a woman, great. That's all they care about. If it's a three legged lesbian. Yeah. Well, this Whatever. is why in the next election they're going to be running Kamala Harris, I guarantee it. Because she's thing. black and she's a woman. And that's, I mean, the thing is, that's exactly what they say about Trump, is he's the wrong person for the job. Now, whether you agree with that or not is irrelevant. But now they're going to do exactly the same. They're going to find their own shade of orange and paint lipstick on it and push it out there and say, you've got to vote for this. <laughs> and that's not how elections, that's not how a democracy or elections should ever run. And that's one of the big impetus that Trump had was he was common he could appeal to anybody he could say anything because he wasn't being managed by this PR roadshow that's basically you've always got to provide the polite answer he, he right, said he it how it was I think it's right here I wonder if that's it I mean, that's just the main reason nobody trusts our politicians anymore. It's because they know every time they go out to answer a question, and this is a few times when they actually do, they know they've had like two hours of grooming by some speech stroke, um, psychological guru who's basically tried to train them like some seal of how not to let the cat out of the bag or how to abide the question or whatever. And yeah. People don't want that. People, people don't care about politicians or shits. What they want is for politicians to at least be not taking the piss. They'll, they'll at least be straight with them most of the time. This is the only grave I could find. I mean, look, I mean, we're talking about the gun control. I mean, Christ, Hillary was both sides of the fence on that all the time. Yeah, and the thing is, she was like that with many of her policies. It was whatever the crowd wanted to hear at that event, and that's clearly why the Goldman Sachs speech was a closed or highly confidential event, because she, she clearly said things that would totally contradict what she'd said outside. That's past 
dick for some money. Which is fair enough. Here. But obviously she was running on a ticket of supposedly being so for the people. And this is the thing. Hillary's up the never been for anybody. Right, you look for everybody. Right. So. Oh, East by northeast, and that puts us right into the rock. Maybe it's up top. That looks up top. I don't know. Oh, it's hilarious. Uh, there's an American show that uh, it's from like the late 80s or early 90s, mid 90s that re aired last night. Like they rebooted it called Roseanne, right? Oh, yeah. Roseanne, and yeah. Yeah, that is hilarious. I love that show. I remember watching it a little. Anyway, so I watched it last night, first episode, right? And, um, well, her character in the thing, and she is in real life as well, like a Trump supporter, right? And it's just hilarious. The show is good. Is yeah. you know, they're making fun of liberals and virtue signaling and social justice wars and everything. And, oh my god, liberals are throwing a shit fit. They're like, how can ABC <laughs> run this program and this and that? We've never watched it. It's not funny. It's like, and the people were like... Oh, we have to put up with your fucking shitty shows and stuff, and you have to respect other people's point of views, and it's a comedy, so you can't just be like, no, there's nothing comedic about this, it's disgusting, it's like, you can't respect <laughs> someone's point of views that, that, you know, a Trump supporter or anything that he agrees with, oh my god, it's just, they are terrible. They claim well, that's we're the fascists, that's but they're fucking fascists, I mean, jeez. This is because well, it's like whenever you see a protest, you'll get, especially against Antifa, I mean, I love it when you get these, um, like, alt-right, like, the media alt-right groups approaching yeah. these Antifa crowds and stuff, and they're like, come on, man, explain your, your principles, let's have a discussion, and they, they just start getting abusive and violent and spitting yep. and crap like that, and it's like, you're see, a Nazi, that's, you're that's a phobus, mister. Yeah. And they're the yeah. ones in the mask. I mean, for all we know, they could all be KKK, white, blue-eyed, blonde, just using this as an underground agenda to stay. Yeah. Because <laughs> you never see the... the... well, I don't want to say the sort of the right-wingers, but you know, you never see the kind of the libertarians, I suppose, the... um... covering their faces. You know, it's... And yeah, that's the thing. In the 80s, like the 70s, Comedy used to actually be funny, unlike the comedy you get these days, which is usually yeah. just whiny crap. Um, I mean, look, I mean, look, look at Ellen. I mean, that is now can I no longer joke about the Black Syrian. Well, look actually, at the Ellen like show. That. I mean, Ellen used to be a stand-up comedian by sort of trade, and every time I see a link on YouTube or something, now it's just political. Broadcasting crap, you know, she's got bloody a bomb the hell hair is? or Hillary or or somebody else, and it's nothing more than a, a push and stuff <laughs> for various policies. Yep, uh, yeah, and she says she won't thing. even, she won't even, uh, if Trump wanted to come on her show, someone asked her that, that before, she wouldn't let him. I mean, who would yeah. let Dude, a look, US look, president look, look, go on Don, to well, fuck off. Don, man, listen to this. I mean, I, he never would, I know that. Don, man, listen to this. What? Hillary said, why do we have nuclear bombs? If we have nuclear bombs, why not use them? People, no, well. yeah, even Trump said that sh kind of that shit, but Hillary said it as well. If you say that kind of shit, you're fucking retarded. That's, you're done, you know? You should be put in a jail if you're gonna tell the world, like, oh, if we have nuclear weapons, why not use them? Yeah. That's a m thing like my God says. And the reason why he's a truck driver is because <laughs> he is not a fucking nuclear He might not be a truck driver a right now. Nuclear yeah. Ask Wood Joe, he's, he, it sounded like he was quitting. It sounded like he gave his notice. Yep. He said he was going to rent a car and green. drive back to Houston, and uh, he was done. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. That's what he said a little while ago oh. before he logged on. Why? Because he's still stuck in Lubbock? Because, uh, yeah, kind of. I think the truck's almost fixed, but uh, 
something about they won't pay pay him and shit like that. So is he gonna dumb. become the Uber driver? Maybe. Where I the fuck is this here. thing, dude? Something up here in this tunnel, or this cave thing. I see drawings of uh, fighting the kraken. I see yeah, drawings of dead like people. <laughs> I see a guy oh, steering shit. the Kraken. Okay, that's gotta be it. Where the hell are you? But I don't see bones yet. I found a gunpowder barrel. I mean, honestly, the problem is there's as well as too many, I don't know, especially in America, too many networks that have nailed their flag to the, well, I was gonna say the mast, but the cross would probably be more up. And they should never have done that, you know, they, that's literally put them in a the corner now where they're trapped. I mean, the regular networks are nothing more than a joke now when it comes to political comedy because nobody believes a word they say or sees their comedy as being true comedy. You cannot like get honest just... political news anymore. There's probably a couple reporters out there that are still honest, but I mean, not many. Yeah. Um... And you have left. some of the YouTube reporters, man. Their YouTube reporters are pretty yeah. good, man. And that's or okay. I mean, one. if it wasn't <laughs> was stuff like that, I mean, you'd have never seen sort of half the things that made people wake up and think with regard to Hillary. You know, she'd have winged it. Yeah. Um, but reporters should always report the facts and let the people analyze it. But too often now, news isn't about presenting an event, it's basically giving the conclusion that they want you to believe and that's that's wrong. How's that guy called, is wrong. how's that America <clears throat> called that made the news, the guys on the drugs, uh, the, made the movie, see that's not a good description. Failing on this description. Where the hell? Reddit says, I finally found it in the middle of the crooked mass, there is a large pointed rock with a lantern on it. There lies a grave with a tentacle marked on it along with a skull. It's located in by the some middle? barrels and palm trees. In the middle of the crooked mast. Is that where we're at? Yeah, in the middle of the crooked mast. Large painted rock with a lantern on it. Large painted rock with a lantern on it. I'm gonna go take this gunpowder down to the boat. I died. I'm on the ferry. Oh, shit. Oops. God, I'm getting hungry. We need to fucking finish this shit so we turn it in and go eat. Um... Does it say I want level? I mean, it's no, just a grave mark as well. I mean, could you imagine somebody like Putin or... Come young, whatever from North Korea, making the threats that they were going to annihilate people and stuff like do these things. Yeah. Actually, Reagan really would have beaten them for breakfast. Well, if you're if you like the one of the two, like if you have a bunch of nuclear weapons, oh, and you could say like we have nuclear weapons, why not use them? You're crazy. And Kim says, yeah, if, but to be Kim sincere, says it, I don't think he's crazy. I think you got if May says the shit, she's crazy. You know yeah, she's but crazy? you gotta put All in. You gotta put in context. You had this mad person in North Korea who's been threatening, 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 uh, and that's between when he occasionally fires off some artillery shells or rockets and actually does kill people. And Christ, South Korea lost a damn Corvette to a North Korean submarine yeah. ten or so years ago. I remember. Can you imagine a spotted accident accidentally being nice. an American sub that had been caught in a crossfire or a Japanese sub or something? That, uh, that would have been it. There wouldn't have been any, oh, you know, let's be calm about like this. Come yeah. down here, you see it? Yeah. And that's the problem. Um, uh, what do you call it? Compromise doesn't breed respect. It just. It's, it's like the sort of mistaken politeness for weakness. And this is a problem. People are being polite for too long. A seafarer's chest. <laughs> All for that. All for a seafarer's chest. I mean, the unfortunate thing with countries like Russia and North Korea, and to a degree China, is people have been polite to for so long and they've actually allowed these people to gain uh, 
a pillar of strength to stand Here, on. You wanna grab this chest and I'll grab the gunpowder barrel? I'm not sure that would be allowed to happen, but as I said, this, this is Snowflake generation. Oh, well, you've gotta be, you know, considerate and all of this crap. And it's like bollocks. Let's see, is real being considerate when he gets attacked from three sides, do you? They, <laughs> they lock and load yeah. and we can give everyone a, a kick in. It's the nearest outpost. I'm not saying every significant country in the world should use force to enforce its will. Dagger to but when dagger it's to threatened... Yeah, you, know, you need to be seen to fight back. And that's what. That's one thing that always often isn't um, realized so much. I mean, it's, it's, here we go, my God, look at this. I mean, you take the Falklands War. It, it was a key turning point in the Cold War because and you don't hear this much, but a lot of experts said it got back to Moscow during the eras when. Moscow was basically making more and more, and you know, the arms race was going on during the 80s. And that, that action actually proved to Moscow that Western nations would actually fight for what they believed in. They wouldn't just roll over and say, yeah, okay, you know, another territory lost, we'll just back up. That <coughs> clarified to uh, people in Moscow that countries in NATO will actually fight, they're not just going <coughs> to appease and do anything to keep the peace. <coughs> but like the like feminism, the, nobody likes to bring Thatcher up, I mean it's, it's kind of Well tragic. if it's conservative woman, yeah we already know that, I mean. <laughs> I mean I think there's plenty of people in Britain who love Thatcher and what she stood for and Think we need people like her, but as usual, the media is all full of the lefty, lovey pricks. Um, Rocks to the right. You want to rewrite history? My god, you just missed it. What about the Falklands? Falklands War. <laughs> Too late. You had your chance. That's <laughs> alright. So, is your company being a shit show or what? Or are you is your truck not ready or? I don't know. Feedback what you just said to... I'm gonna go fight with them some more. I'm ready. Hey. Oh, you haven't quit officially yet. Fight with food? Garage or...? No, it's company. The <laughs> accounts department. Let's get this shit so off. So what? They're not willing to pay to repair his truck. They're not willing to pay I to don't pay know. To pay Probably not willing to pay to reimburse where he's been staying and eating. Well, I thought that was their idea. Um, I mean, somebody did actually say well, would no, it would be it better a... to just go home. He wasn't getting his paycheck or something, home. wasn't it? Well, I thought he only got paid when he worked anyway, but I thought they were willing to put him up and obviously pay for his truck. And all he basically has to do is pay for his food and drink kind of thing. These seas are very rough. Yes, they are. Especially when you get the wind with you. It's like your boat just floats. It's like it's flying over top of you. Yeah. Sleep off our port bow. He's How far? The outpost. Son of a bitch. Oh. I just want to offload this shit and go fucking east. make sail. Eat. We'll go east. I think we can go do east and get him. If he, if, if he, uh, if he starts chasing us, I swear to God. 
think he's turning off. Okay, good. But I don't know about testing it. He's coming in. He's not turning up. Yeah. He's turning out actually. No. Fuck it. Get... Okay, you stay on the ship. I'll offload shit. Right. I'll Just keep a close eye. Where's the thing? I wish there was a quicker way of doing this. Right. I even I wish there was a way you could cash in what you have on board for like a fraction of the uh, value, you know? Because you could spend a lot of time gathering stuff up and then never make it back to port. Keep an eye on them. Are they still going away? They're riding parallel at the moment. Oh. Keeping an eye on them. I thought this side was going to be the side with the merchant and everything, but I was. Nope. Sure. The second they start coming in, just go. I'll catch a mermaid. Alrighty. Just up here on deck, take a look at that. No, I don't see one up here. <laughs> what about down in the map room? I didn't see one there either. Huh? If you want to make it faster, just move one up at a time onto the deck. That way I can Alrighty. just come yeah. over. Just only do one at a time, not just the case. Are they coming towards us now? No, I think they dropped anchor. Good. Maybe they have a lot of stuff too and they didn't want to. Oh, that's bullshit. Is this ship? What happened? It shoved us all the way back. Oh. I got close and then it pushed us back again. <laughs> that's nonsense. That was not natural, that was not realistic by any, any means. Well, I have seen some videos of ships like flying, so I mean, it's still a little glitchy. Yeah. Should be like a 5k, 4, 6k haul here. User joined your channel. Alright, they brought it back from uh, the test drive. They found a, an oil leak at the oil separator, but they said to start heading to the shop because it will be ready to roll today. Nice, and what about your company? What about them? I'm still waiting to hear back from them. They haven't quit like officially the yet. If they, if they don't fucking. Uh, reimburse me, then yeah, I'm giving back their fucking truck and say thanks for the memories, fuck off. But I'm not gonna work for no three weeks for free. I ain't nobody's, uh, slave. Now I'll go work housekeeping at Pyro's Hotel first. <laughs> you can get an Uber job, actually. Not yet. Maybe when Krista gets into the Air Force, then we get relocated. Hey, is Uber and Lyft like, is that worldwide or is that just the United States? I don't know. Do they have that shit in, in the UK War 5? I'm <clears throat> well, speaking of Uber and Lyft, I got a request one. I'll be back. 
Okay. Disconnected from your channel. Sloop sailed off. Good. How much more shit we got? More interest in a skull. Uh huh. You take one of them. Right. I'm just done then. I'm gonna log off. So. Yeah, I'm a headache here. It was quite a long joy voyage. Chasing yeah. those one people, that one dude. Shit, it's already 1.30, what we start playing about 11, my time? Two, two yeah, and a half hours? Like that. I wish you could cash in the cannonball and everything on your ship. Yeah, that'd be cool. Let's double check. Uh, was there a gunpowder barrel up top? No, I lost it earlier. Uh, I don't think so. I think that's it. Uh huh. We don't have a whole lot of cannonball, do we? Nah. Back in yeah. a bit. Alrighty, see ya. Alrighty, see ya.